Corner to the Lakers. You saw it on NBA TV. Kobe with a 105-year-old Aline Wynn. Wow. Well, How about that? Imagine. What a life. What they were talking about. How he was going to hit Some the game winning shot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe DePau, who had a 21-point game. And then this is a very, very short-handed New Orleans team. Jared Jack missing. Lakers on the break. Ramon Sessions with a finish. But Kobe Bryant, the story here is he couldn't buy a bucket. I mean, literally could not buy a basket. Not at all. I mean, the, 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 the cover was on the rim tonight. But they found a way to stay focused. I mean, it's amazing. The guy goes oh for the first quarter, second quarter, and third quarter. Didn't well, he just proved in the first three quarters he was human. Okay. In the Gravis fourth quarter, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll get to that. Gravis <laughs> uh, Vasquez to Jason Smith for the jumper. And Ramon Sessions. Steve Blake. Yeah, you know, we talked about guard play in the pregame show. Ramon Sessions and Steve Blake shot the ball very well tonight. Blake had nine points in the game, three of five from three point range. Marco Bellinelli. He's a shooter. Now to the second half. Kobe Bryant. No. Hornets on the break. Jared Jack up court to Al Farouk Aminu. Can you give Monty Williams credit having his team prepared, sharing the basketball? Knocking down shots, feeling real confident about themselves for three quarters. That guy right there, Jared Jack, has been done an awesome job this year for Monty Williams. Yeah, he has had a sore ankle, but he looked very, very healthy in this one. Kobe continuing the struggles, the corner three air ball, and then from the wing, put that hand down. It's not going in. You know, it's the first time in Kobe's career that he's gone 0 for his first 15 field goals. Wow. First time. Like I said, he proved he was shooting for three quarters. Open nine in the third alone. Then Kobe finally hits his first shot of the game. In the fourth, still the Hornets are on top. Now Ramon Sessions. When in doubt, find a seven-footer. That can play. That can play. Bynum, 19 <laughs> and 10 rebounds in the game. And then Kobe Bryant. Go get the ball out of his hand. Down by two, hits a three. He was 0 for 7 from three-point range to that point with 20 seconds left. Too much space, too much time. Run at him, make someone else beat you. Great point, he's got all right, eight ticks left in the game. Jared Jack drives, but misses the layup. Matt Barnes gets the rebound. Barnes made both free throws, so 2.5. That's a lot of time. After a timeout, this is what the Hornets did. Pay attention to details so you can execute. I'm pretty sure Monty Williams did not draw the play up, throw the ball to Jason Smith, and they want to freeze and pump fake and shoot it. Kobe Bryant can walk away with a smile because his team did win the game, but it was absolutely brutal for Bryant who was 3 for 21 shooting in the game and started out 0 for 15, the most consecutive misses he's had in a game to start off in his 16-year career. Unbelievable, but the big guys helped bail him out.